French President Emmanuel Macron welcomed the G7 leaders to France to kick off the G7 summit. The summit is likely to highlight differences rather than unity between the Western powers. Meanwhile, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and U.S. President Donald Trump met just a short while back on the sidelines of the summit. The U.S. President said that a very crucial U.S.-U.K. trade deal was in the offing. He also said that Johnson was the right person to deliver the same. He needs no advice. He's the right man for the job. I've been saying that for a long time. Didn't make your predecessor very happy, but I've been saying it for a long time. He's the right man for the job. <laughs> G7 leaders also met for the, worst, for the first working session of the parliament. The leaders agreed that President Emmanuel Macron should hold talks and pass on messages to Iran. Priority remained to prevent Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons and diffuse tensions in the Gulf. Earlier, Macron gathered the leaders and their spouses in a lighthouse for a dinner meeting ahead of that summit. The French seaside town in Basque country is usually known for its extravagant casinos. However, for the next two days, it will host leaders from the US, Canada, UK, Japan, Germany, India, and a host of other countries. The summit host and French President Emmanuel Macron has said that he hopes to convince the G7 leaders to pull back from the global trade war. He also has vowed to make climate change and the Amazon fires the summit's top priorities. J'ai deux objectifs en votre nom durant ces quelques jours. D'abord, convaincre tous nos partenaires que les tensions, en particulier les tensions commerciales, sont mauvaises pour tout le monde. Nous devons réussir à avoir une forme de désescalade, c'est-à-dire à stabiliser les choses et à éviter cette guerre du commerce qui est en train de s'installer partout. Ensuite, je crois que nous devons aussi trouver les nouveaux moyens de faire de la vraie relance, c'est-à-dire de relancer cette croissance. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is currently in Bahrain, will be reaching the venue of the summit later this evening. On India's agenda, we'll be discussing trade with the U.S. and, of course, the issue of Jammu and Kashmir. Meanwhile, thousands of protesters gathered on the streets of the French city of Hande to protest against the G7 summit. The organizers claim that people from over 50 associations and leagues participated in that demonstration. The demonstrators said that the G7 is no longer qualified to represent the current world and that there is a need for alternative plans. The protest was meant to attract attention to the contribution of the world's most developed economies to growing inequality. Eh bien, on est là tous depuis trois jours maintenant pour euh, revendiquer qu'un autre monde est possible et qu'au-delà de celui que veulent nous imposer les sept plus grandes puissances du monde, il y a des alternatives possibles. Le G7 réunit euh, les principaux responsables de la crise sociale et de la crise climatique. Voilà. Et euh, il ne faut rien pour changer les choses. Au contraire, il continue à l'aggraver. Donc nous, on est là pour dire non à, cette, à, cette, à ce système, à la poursuite de ce système et pour uh, engager une vraie transition sociale et écologique. The protests also highlighted the differences between the leaders' promises and their actions. There are many more anti-G7 activities planned over the next few days.